So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a render using the deep image format. This is a popular image format to use compositing when you need to integrate uh, 3D elements and other 2D elements, uh, but still maintain depth uh, so they can do things like occlusion and uh, that kind of stuff in your compositing program. So for this uh, example, I'm using the space gas station 01.ma scene. I'm going to switch uh, cameras here just so we can take a look at how the scene is set up. Get rid of those masks there so you can see I have kind of a fair amount of depth in the scene, a bunch of spaceships and a camera set up. And then down here we have our little robot right next to our camera. So that's what it looks like in the 3D software in Maya. If we take a look in Nuke, you can see here's the result. This is a 2D image rendered using Octane for Maya. But the deep image format has allowed us to extrude the 2D image into a 3D uh, version, a point cloud. And you can see it looks a lot like our render here. It's just kind of sort of smeared out and turned into points. So really what we want to do is figure out how to render the deep image format using Octane for Maya. And it's pretty easy. So let's go back to Maya here and switch back to our camera. So you want to use either the um, direct light kernel or the path tracing kernel to render deep image. You don't want to use um, PMC or info channel. So let's go into the render settings and go to our kernel. And in the attribute editor for the direct light kernel, I'm going to scroll down here and activate deep image. So turn this on and we have two samples that we need to worry about. This is the max depth samples and the depth tolerant. So the max depth samples essentially sets a maximum for the number of samples that we rendered in the deep image format. This is depth samples, not necessarily image quality samples. Uh, depth tolerance specifies the distance between two points. Uh, if they fall below this tolerance, they'll be merged together into the same point. So once you have that set up, you can go back to your render settings and under the common tab, make sure that you specify that you're going to render in the open EXR format. Set it to 32-bit float. And if you're going to render an animation, you want to set this frame animation extension to name number extension and then set your frame range. I've noticed that rendering a single image, you still want to do the same thing. So instead of just rendering single frame using this option, set name number extension and then just set the start and end frame to the same frame and then it will render properly. Uh, and then of course, specify your render camera. And then start a batch render. So do a batch render. When it's completed, you can go into your compositing software. So in this case, I'm using Nuke and use the deep read node to read that image format. And I'm using the deep two points nodes just to visualize sort of the 3D uh, extrusion of that 2D image. And of course, in Nuke, you can press the tab key and type in deep and you'll find all the deep image nodes here. That gives you the basics of working with the deep image format in Octane for Maya.